today we're off to Yokohama for an event called Nostalgic Two Days. I don't know too much about this event, but I'm expecting that there's going to be a lot of classic cars. So yeah, it should be something nice and different from the usual JDM and drift stuff. First to take the car for today, it's the Mercedes McLaren SLR. Thanks to my boss for lending it to me today. Not as nostalgic as maybe this, but really happy with that. Should be a fun drive down to Yokohama in this. Very cool mini truck over there. There's too many people now, can't see. some parking space that the SLR is actually gonna fit and it seems like it's not gonna fit here but we're seeing some cool cars at least nice little Celica and the 180SX over there lots of cool cars out now nice little FC3S and the R31 in front Finally found some parking and now the second problem is parking this car has no cameras no sensors no nothing so it's all got to be done manually like the good old days so nostalgic two days this is my nostalgia today should be okay made it in close the gall wings and now we can go. She looks so beautiful. Barely have an hour left. Finally made it inside. Already pretty excited to see what we can find. Starting at one end of the hall, then going to the next. So we've got some Skyline GTRs here. Interesting Nismo build. And we've got an R33 as well. Some interesting carbon fiber intake parts. And the good old RV26, of course. And then an R32. I actually like the color of this engine cover. R31, of course, and the classic R30. I don't even know what engine this is, to be honest. Then moving away from the Japanese cars, we have a Mercedes. I think that's a 190E. I have no idea what this is. And then we have a Ford GT. The amount of things going on in this car. Just amazing.
I think now I know that it's a Ferrari for sure. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I do think it's some kind of Ferrari though. And then the classic 190E. Lotus Europa. Not sure why this one is so special, but everybody seems to be happy to see it. Got some classic JDMs here for sale. This is a Laurel. It says ask the price, so who knows? And then got a little Hakosuka here, not a GTR, but still. That's 7 million yen. About $65,000, I guess, US. And then I don't even know what's going on here. This is a Subaru 360, apparently. That's what the sign says. This, I have no idea what it is. So, just met the owner. Onamae wa? Hayashi. Ah, Hayashi. Hayashi san desu. So, this is the first K. Jidosha K car that's ever been made. It's called the Flying Feather. This one. Flying Feather. Flying Feather. Flying Feather. And this is a Fuji cabin three wheeler. Fuji wa Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji. The engine right here. Cabin. Cabin. Wow. Doesn't even look like a steering wheel. It's all FRP. No metal. No metal. Small front wheels, one headlight. Looks like a Peel P50. Very cute. Nice little Sylvia S13. Tsumori Engineering. Interesting engine parts for the L series. Therefore, we have a nice Fair Lady Z. And we have a rare Toyota 2000 GT Roadster. That interior is absolutely incredible. And that iconic mix of pop-ups and big round lights. So beautiful still, even in 2020. Got an exhibition from Nismo here as well. With an R32 GTR. It's the... Nismo Heritage Park Skyline GTR, apparently. Got some goodies like muffler, the front bumpers, air spoiler, a lot of different old Nismo parts for the R32. As it is the Olympics this year again, since 1964. It's a little Olympic throwback with a prince. Not sure whether got the torch here as well, so maybe it was used in carrying the torch in the 64 games. Not sure, not much of a story around here right now. So here's the story. I guess it was used in the torch carrying parade, as you can see in this picture. It's one of these two behind the fire guy. Incredible piece of history right there. It's a Prince Gloria. Got some old school race cars here. This Porsche. Whatever this is. Seems to be a Honda. Imagine driving this. Got a little bit more left over in the classic Nissan section with this Z31. I have no idea, probably not an original motor, but this is powered by an RB20. Very, very clean. 
And then if I'm not wrong, I think this is a Nissan Leopard. That was at some point powered by a V6, but now it's powered by an RB20, no, RB25. Not quite a JZX, but this is an old Toyota Chaser. That's only two doors. Absolutely amazing interior again. Then we've got a bone stock ARC7 FC3S with the grandma spec interior. Manual though. Rotary powered, of course. And it's on sale for 3.2 million yen. Around $27,000 probably. And the Toyota Soar. Another clean example with the original 7M GTE. How much is this on sale for, I wonder? Same price, 3.2 million yen. Automatic. Incredible condition as all of the cars here. More classic cars on sale, including a Hakoska GTR this time. Two forty Z. Something else here, very interesting. Of course, two thousand GT not just one 2000 GT but two of course and behind the 2000 GT we have a Mazda Cosmo famous for the 20B of course and this is also in quite amazing condition also on sale doesn't say how much though I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what this is so Let's get close and check it out. Oh, it says it right here. 1914 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. That's what this is. Wow. I don't even know if I'd probably be able to drive this. Wow. <laughs> and then the classic car MVP Star Road is here as well with their custom creations. Seen a few of these at Auto Salon already, but still always nice to see them again this is one car that I couldn't get too close to at the auto salon so I'm happy to be able to see it here now some more classic Nissans and another Hakoska if you aren't tired of seeing them yet and then another Mazda Cosmo in red this time and of course another Hakoska with an L series let's see if we can find one with the original S20 engine somewhere here the unexpected sight here is a Supra. It's the full Supra, of course. I'm really dying to see this in action one day. Drifting all over the place. Some FC. 
an A86, another Z, another Z. This is the top secret skyline that we saw at Tokyo Auto Salon as well. This 86 has some old Porsche BBSs. Quite an awesome match. And of course, a naturally aspirated 4AG. And a Honda S800. Wonder how many foreigners would be actually able to fit in this car. There's a Ken Mary Skyline GTR as well. Not too many around here today, mostly Hakoskas. So basically all these cars have already been sold to someone. This one still hasn't. And a few of these already have as well. Another Ken Mary. Hakoska, none of these have been sold. This Ken Mary has already been sold though. This middle sign written in red kanjis that tells you that it's already been sold. Goodbye Ken Mary. Cute little Honda Beat. And a few more Fair Lady Z's. Cusco prepared Civic DG6. I think these are all Subarus, Alcyon, more FC3Ss. You don't see AW11s anymore. This R32 GTR is like off-road spec right there. Must be absolutely stock. And a modified A86, of course. Got a Lancia Stratos here as well. But a classic car show without an NSX. Extremely amazing condition. And on sale. For 9 million yen. We're almost coming to an end of the hauls now. Another R31 and some A70 Supras here. In light of the new Supra that came out. Another R32 GTR. Looking very nice. Another Hakoska, these people are already wrapping up, so I think we have to get out of here soon as well. 180SX. It's the first time I've seen it done up like this. Also for sale. There's a sunny truck that looks like a Hakoska front end. Some race car GTRs. Ken Mary and the Hakoska again. This actually looks pretty cool. Carbon fiber hood. And another unexpected find. It's an older Celsior. These things still look good today. Another Hagoska. And then an S14. It's powered by an L series engine. Saw this at Tokyo Auto Salon as well. Uh, 
That's a beautiful blue paint right there on this one as well. A very clean R34 hiding under the covers. More cars on sale. More custom Hakoska with legendary carbon fiber headlight covers. Another super cool R30 Skyline and a little bit of Back to the Future with the DeLorean. Tons of other beautiful cars here. As far as I can see. Close to reaching the end now. Can't believe I got through this entire show in less than two hours. Time to wrap it up soon and head out. Just the last few cars now. Another RX-7. It's a Lotus Esprit, I believe or Esprit, as you would call it properly. I saw this Fair Lady Z at Tokyo Auto Salon as well. Some great olive green paint. This Skyline was not there though. So that's a first for me. We are at the end now. Let's look at this last car here before we head out. another custom Hakoska. I actually love this half and half clean slash rusty look. Really, really cool. And that concludes the nostalgic two days. It was actually a fun little place to go and visit, so I hope I can go again next year. Some of the classic cars are starting to roll out now. everybody as they leave <laughs> that really cool half and half Hakko Sky is coming now Look at that. It's incredible to realize that all these people are basically driving home. They came to the show, drove to the show, and now they're driving the cars straight back home. There's the Bond car. Ah, oh, there's that beautiful R34. My God, I really, really wish I could try at least driving one of these one day. Not all cars get driven home though. There goes that S13. Starting sequence of an SLR. Pop the key, twist it, 
and then the start button is right here. So cool. And because the night is still young, took a quick trip to Daikoku PA. Let's see if there's anything interesting going on here tonight. Because it's a long weekend and tomorrow's a national holiday, um, even though it's a Sunday night, there still seems to be quite a lot of people here. It's a pretty badass M3. Bunch of cool parts on it. Looks like the Itashas are out in force as well. Life's RX-7. It's not Daikoku without some R34 GPRs. On each side. One for the Civic fans, EF. Some beefy tires. A few Z32s. Another one there. And a Skyline 33. Got some Altezzas. Got some Stan Sevo. Ferrari 488. Matte Black NSX. Some R32 versus Supra. Sex sitting quite nice and low. We've got an S2000 gang leaving right now. Four of them. And one more late to the party always not nice to hear a one Jay-Z there goes that NSX First time I've ever seen this body kit on an S15. I have no idea what it is, but it doesn't look too bad to be fair. Got some decoration truck action right here as well. That's hilarious and awesome at the same time. Let's go check them out from close up. That's some awesome stuff right there. A quick look at the back of this truck as well. really really cool since it's really really cold I think it's time to head out and maybe on the way back home we can hit up Tatsumi PA as well let's see hopefully it's gonna be open it's a very nice Subaru Impreza right there very fast and furious with a neon glow we made it to Tatsumi 
unlike last night, it's not closed today, thankfully. Let's see if there's anything fun going on here. There's not an insane amount of things happening here today. But let's just see what kind of things. Nice RX-7. Again, the Itasha crowd. Nice Evo. Pair of Z33s. A pair of Supras. SLR I'm driving today. So cool. So that wraps up this video. Um, please like and subscribe and share this with your friends. And see you next time.